Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the week of May 26th to June 1st for you to see what's in store for you and what energies are available. So as I go ahead and set up the reading, I would love for you to check if you're a subscriber already and if you are, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're not, please make sure to check and click the little teepee on this corner of the video. It's a little tiny golden teepee. If you click it, you are subscribed. And honestly, that would make my day. <laughs> that would make me really happy, you guys. I am actively trying to make this channel grow and it has become such an especial journey. One more card. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. I don't do reversals, but <clears throat> sorry, I don't do reversals by the way, you guys. We have the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups, sorry, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the World. Ace of Pentacles. You have two aces. You have the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> and we have the King of Cups. Let's see what's up. Okay, guys, so this week, some of you guys are going to be dealing with water signs, Cancers, Pisces, or Scorpios, or people who have water in their chart, or personalities that are very similar to water signs. So people who are very creative, who are very intuitive, spiritual, artistic and also emotional. There is a possibility that this week, from May 26th to um, the 1st of June, you might be feeling a little blinded, you might be feeling like you don't have all the answers. I see that absolutely all of the cards here have their eyes closed, which is very interesting. If you see here, she is blindfolded. <clears throat> She's, he's looking away. He is resting his eyes, we don't see his eyes, he's resting his eyes as well. So what that tells me is that this could be a week in which you may feel like you don't have all the answers. This could be a week in which you may feel very foggy mentally, mentally confused, mentally um, rough around the edges, like fuzzy around the edges. <clears throat> At the same time, it seems to me like there's a lot going on. You could be receiving offers, proposals, invitations, even love um, declarations, declarations of love, perhaps from a water sign for some of you guys. Um, you may be feeling a little bit insecure though, so make sure not to make any decisions out of fear and not accept anything that's coming to you out of um, fear or insecurity. Make sure that that's not where you're accepting any offers from. You do have two aces, so you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. These are wonderful cards. So the Ace of Cups is a new beginning in self-love, in self-respect. It is a new beginning in a current relationship, or even, if you're looking for love, could be even a potential love partner coming in. A new love interest, someone new, someone you meet this week. If you're interested in that, could be a possibility here with the Ace of Cups. With the Ace of Pentacles, um, maybe you receive an amazing idea or you receive um, a windfall of abundance of some kind it seems to me like you're going to be doing very well financially and materially this week but there is some information that is it seems to not be out in the surface just yet seems to be out of your reach maybe evaluate if the people in your life especially water signs if they're being completely honest with you, if they're being completely honest with themselves, and make sure that you are being completely honest about your feelings, your needs, your emotions. At the same time with the world here, you are closing chapters, opening new chapters. There might be a lot of activity on your cell phone, so you may be receiving a lot of messages. You may even feel like you are 
not capable of answering everything that is coming through and stuff is starting to slip through the cracks, so beware of that. But overall it seems like a very good week, uh, a week of new beginnings. Just be comfortable with the possibility of not feeling very clear. That's the only thing that I'm seeing here. Like you may not feel clear about where you're headed, what's going on, you may just feel kind of foggy. So make sure to rest, make sure to hydrate, make sure to eat well. And know that there is emotional fulfillment and financial fulfillment for you this week. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a little bit of a... I've had the most annoying cold. <laughs> Like for a month, like I don't usually get colds, I don't get flus, not really, and if I do it's like a day or something, and I feel like I've been sick for like a month, but it's not even like sick, it's just like this annoying little cough that doesn't go away, you know what I mean? Because I feel fine. Let's see what messages are coming for you guys. From this one, okay. <laughs> Aww, yay! Okay, I love this card. So, there is definitely an empowerment going on. I'm going to be reading the complete message from the booklet because this deck is stunning. It's written by Alana Fairchild and she's such an amazing writer. I'm such a fan. Okay, so the message is, you can choose right now to feel good about yourself. If you've been beating yourself up, stop it now. Don't let anyone else decide how you should feel about yourself. Taking responsibility for your actions means that when you have done something that you feel is out of integrity, you do something about it that is constructive and useful. Damning yourself with judgment or allowing another to steal your self-esteem is neither of those things. The Divine Mother is telling you to forgive yourself and use your energy now to live the best life that you can. It's time to take your life back. You are one tough sweetheart, a spiritual gangster, a beautiful vampire. Stealing back from the unworthy that which is rightfully belonging to you. You have certain spiritual rights that cannot be denied to you. Your dignity, power, and grace, your sense of beauty and self-esteem, your chosen belief system, your energy, and your right to take up space in this world rightfully belong to your soul. Your faith in your spiritual connection with the universe and your sense of your life purpose belongs to your soul too. So do your joy, your laughter, and your enjoyment of life, your belief in your own purity of heart and the goodness of your own being. Your right to love yourself is owned by your soul too. Even when you make mistakes, the Great Mother loves and forgives you, knowing that you are doing your best and are, are her precious daughter. You have a spiritual right to be free from torment, cruelty, and mental anguish. You alone own the right to choose your thoughts and claim your freedom to make your own choices. You are fierce with wisdom. You know that another cannot ever successfully steal what belongs to you. And if they try, your sacred rage will rise up and you will not hesitate to stake the winning claim for what is rightfully yours. The beautiful bandit comes to you with a message. Anything that you feel has been taken from you unfairly shall be taken back by you. Claim what is yours by spiritual right. Justice will always prevail love it so you can go ahead and listen to that message several times if you need um, and I think that's it for these days those are the messages that are coming through you guys I hope that this was helpful and thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe please <laughs> before you leave and know that I always update my description box there's always tools freebies discounts you know you name it there's tons of stuff over there so make sure to, every time you check out one of the videos, check the description box because it's always changing. I'm sending so much love you guys and I hope that you have a beautiful start of the month of June. Make sure to check out the June monthlies as well. Bye!